Hey guys, have you ever wondered what to do on a troop line stage for PR Streamfire? Let's say you're shooting from 50 yards to 250 yards. Do you dial your parallax right in the middle of that range? Or do you dial the parallax for each distance? What about near to far targets? Let's say it's from 50 yards to 150 or 100 yards to 200, for example, um, or 150 to 300. What do you do on your parallax? Do you dial each? Uh, distance or do you leave it somewhere in the middle? So uh, which method do you guys use? What are the benefits and issues of using either method and uh, could we combine them? So I'm here to talk to you guys about parallax error for PRS uh, or NRL type of uh, rimfire shooting. Hey also, when dealing with parallax for standard fire, usually with most scopes, especially the zero compromise scope or the tangent theta, and even the loophole, the uh, Mark 5s, and probably the Razor Gen 3, um, or any good scopes, you should be able to set your parallax to four or 500 yards and you should be good for the rest of the match. Um, it's very forgiving with center fire, past two or 300 yards. But because we're dealing with uh, rim fire and our targets are within 300 yards, our parallax setting um, is more sensitive to error versus center fire. So the question we're seeking to answer is what method should we use when you're shooting a target uh, near to far or troop line per se, like what's the best method to use? Do you dial each target's uh, distance in your parallax or do you just uh, split it somewhere in the middle let's say the targets from 50 yards to 300 yards do you just put it at 175 per se and just leave it at that like what's your method or do you do a combination of both before we answer that question let's take a look at the parallax error formula so a few months ago I was listening to a vortex podcast and they were talking about um, parallax error and they spoke about a formula that you can calculate, you use to calculate your parallax error. I found this website. It's weird because it's an insurance website, but they have a calculator that you can uh, calculate your parallax error. So I'll send you guys a link of that uh, website in the description below if you want that uh, formula, if you want to calculate it by hand. But for those of us who use the internet, you should be able to um, calculate it um, using that website. You can just plug in the information that they are looking for. So D is for your objective diameter in millimeters for most scopes, uh, zero compromise or um, loophole Mark V, or I think even the Vortex uh, Gen 3s I believe has 56 millimeter um, objective, diam objective, objective lens diameter. So as you'll see in a few moments, I chose to do mine in 25 yard increments. Uh, you can do yours, I think, in 5 to 10 yards or 10 yards, uh, 20 yards, I think, 25 or 50 yards. Um, but just for the sake of being able to screenshot it and give you guys an overall picture, I chose to do uh, 25 yards. Um, and you'll read on the website that these results are just for normal operation when your eye isn't at the edge of the scope. And I'll show you guys a picture of what that looks like if your eye if your uh, side picture looks like this, then you're at the very edge of your scope. That means you'll double these results. Um, but for most of us, you're not gonna shoot it that way. You guys should have a fairly decent sight picture and um, you don't have to multiply the results by two, the these errors by two if you have a good or pretty decent sight picture. I also picture. ended up uh, color coding these. Uh, white means there's no error and this is usually where your parallax setting will be in yards. Um, green means that it's approximately 0.1 mils of error. So we're gonna be dealing with mils in this video because that's what we shoot for the most part. Orange means you're getting a little bit more error and it's about 0.2 mils of error. And red means it's about 0.3 mils of error. So to put that into perspective, if you're shooting at a uh, 50 yard target, half an inch target, uh, that's about a 0.3 wide uh, target. If your parallax is in the red zone, 
that means your error is the width of the target. So we're trying to. So as you can see, uh, if you have your parallax set at 25 yards, um, and obviously at 25 yards, you're not gonna have any error. But if, so this, obviously at 25 yards, you're not gonna have much error. So, but you don't have much tolerance for other distances. Like everything else is red at this point. Um, now let's go to the next, the next one, which is 50 yards. And there's not much tolerance within, um, from 50 yards and in. Um, in that case, I would just dial my parallax. If the target is 50 yards and in, um, I'm just gonna dial the specific uh, yardage of the target. Let's say your target is at 40 yards, then I'm gonna do my best to dial it at 40 yards if your target is within um, the 50 yard zone because you don't have much tolerance. And um, your parallax is set to 50, you should be fine shooting from um, 45 to 65 yards. And if you shoot at 75 yards, yes, you can see it's orange. You're gonna have about a 0.2 uh, mils of error. If you're at uh, 75 yards, your tolerable range is from 55 to 110 yards. What I mean by a tolerable range is when it's in the green zone. The green zone is about 0.1 mils of error. And the higher that you go up from here, the more forgiveness you're gonna get. Um, if you go to the next one, which is 100 yards, 25 yards and 50 yards is, uh, is red. So look at 25 yards, you're getting a, almost a full mil of error. If, you're, if your parallax is set to 100 yards and you're shooting at a target at 25 yards, number one, it's gonna be blurry. You're gonna have uh, bad focus. And number two, your error is gonna be really high. Um, and then at 50, it's about 0.3. At 75, you're within the tolerable range up to 175 yards. It's only about a 0.1 mils of error. And if you go to 125, the tolerable range is 100 to 300 yards. And 150 yards is probably gonna be my default. If I'm shooting a stage, I usually like to zero my, um, my elevation and windage. And I'm probably gonna start zeroing my parallax to after every stage to 150, just so if I forget to set it in the next stage, I'm within probably the, the best tolerable or the sweet spot um, range. And the tolerable range for 150 is 100 yards to 300 plus yards. This would be my sweet spot and my default. And depending on your scope, if you have your parallax set to 150, uh, it may not, it may still not be focused at 300 yards. Um, and just because your scope is not focused doesn't mean that um, there's a lot of parallax. I think a lot of people get that confused, but um, so, depending on your scope, if you have a real good quality scope, um, then you should be able to uh, focus, um, you should, or you should be able to have a good uh, depth of field. Even if your parallax is set to 150, you should be able to focus at 300 yards. If you look at the next one, it's uh, 175 and your tolerable range is from 100 yards to 300 yards. And um, the last slide I'm gonna do, I can keep going, but it's the last one is gonna be 200 yards and your tolerable range is from 125 to, uh, to 300 yards. So, um, any, if, I mean, as you can see, anything below 100 yards, your parallax is gonna be more sensitive on those closer distances. So I recommend that you dial um, your specific distance if you're within those ranges, or if you're within uh, 100 yards or 50, especially 50 yards, within 50 yards. So what does this all mean? Um, how can we apply this to competitions? Uh, let's say if I have a five target troop line from 50 yards, 100 yards, 150, 200 to 250 yards, so from 50 yards to 250 yards, um, separated by 50 yards per target. I would dial the parallax for my first target, which would be 50 yards and then remind myself in my dope card to dial the parallax to 150 yards um, on the next target and keep it there for the rest of the targets. So I'm shooting at 50 yards, I'm gonna dial it at 50, and then once I get to the 100 yard target, the next target, I'm gonna dial at 150 and just leave it there the rest of the time. So I'm only dialing my parallax max twice 
um, instead of uh, dialing each distance uh, separately, which is what I used to do. And I probably wasted a lot of seconds doing that because of uh, just um, observe my observations from this formula and just uh, the past year of shooting, like um, I realized that my parallax is a bit more forgiving than I thought. So if the troop line or near to far target is anywhere between 100 to 300 yards, I would just keep the parallax dialed somewhere between 125 to 200 and not change it. So I usually dial the parallax in the middle of the target range. For example, if the targets are from one, let's just say example, it's from, uh, let's, if the target is at 125 and then the next target, the far target is at 300, then the middle range of that is 212.5 yards. So I'm just gonna dial it a little over 200 yards um, and just leave it at that. And instead of worrying about the parallax during the stage, I'm just gonna shoot near far, near far, and know that I have, uh, I'm have i within a good tolerable range for my parallax. And if you have a good scope, you should have a good depth of field and should be able to have your targets focused for both of those distances. If the troop line or your near target starts within 100 yards, then I dial the nearest distance first and do the middle range of the rest of the targets. I gave you guys the example of the troop line. Let's do another example. Let's say your first target is 75 yards. The next target is 150 and the next target is at 250. Uh, for that 75 yard target, I'm gonna dial that parallax at 75. And then for the rest of the targets, I'm just gonna uh, split the distance or is, I'm just gonna go in the middle of the range of the last two targets. I think I said 150 to 250. So uh, I'm gonna dial at 200 yards. So the first target at 75 yards, I'm gonna dial at 75 yards parallax. And the last two targets, I'm gonna dial my parallax at 200 yards in the middle of the two target distances. You shouldn't have to dial the parallax more than twice in the stage. Um, this, unless the stage has something odd, which can happen. And for example, if you're shooting um, at 50 yards to 200 yards, back to 50 yards to 200 yards, and then 75 yards, then you're gonna have to keep dialing your parallax. I probably would not recommend putting it in the middle because that 50 yard parallax is very, it's not forgiving. And if you dial your, um, parallax um, in the middle that 50 yard target is going to be um, it's it's it it's not going to be within the toggle range let's just put it that way unless your 50 yard target is like this big target and you have a lot of forgiveness but um but if your target is not super big at 50 then i recommend dialing each distance but it's very rare to find that um it can happen and some match directors might put those type of stages on there but i don't see those that much to be honest i hope you guys have found this helpful um i was just messing with this uh formula today and just kind of eye-opening to put it into paper how forgiving our parallax can be past 100 yards and of course i recommend dialing your parallax if your target or targets are within uh 100 yards and feel free to plug in uh, different numbers you know if you're a center fire shooter you can plug in different numbers um, and again the website is in the link below it's an insurance website they have no idea where they're from but for some reason they have a scope parallax error formula so which is interesting anyways you guys have a good one